hey Capricorn, how are you doing? This is a bonus reading for Capricorn for the month of August, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Capricorn, if you're new to my channel, I'm a Capricorn moon. I also have three placements of Capricorn in my chart. So I get you guys, I feel you guys, I'm here for you guys. This is a safe place to be. So chill out, relax, and enjoy the reading. And Capricorn, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link, it will send you to the website and you can check out the options from there. What is going on for the fabulous and most amazing Capricorns? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the magician, major arcana for Gemini, Virgo, What's coming towards you, the Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What you are focused on is the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. In your blocked and challenged position, you have the Six of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and your outcome is the Strength card, Major Arcana Four, Leo. Okay, Capricorn, let's clarify this and find out what is going on present time you have the magician and the magician is about simplifying and alchemizing things in your life anything complex must go in your focus you have that seven of wands and the seven of wands can be a guarded or a defensive standpoint you could also be dealing with somebody who is very stubborn and also very defiant so there could be a lot of obligations on your plate or people throwing obligations onto you. This is about you saying no, drawing a line in the sand, standing your ground, standing to adversity, standing up for a cause, or just standing up for yourself. Like, no, I'm going to reprioritize me. One or two of these things are my priority and all this mess coming towards me is none of my business. So if this is your friend coming to you being like, Capricorn, can you help me with this? Can you do this? Can you do that? Your kids are coming to you, run me over here. It's like, no, find your own way, right? This magician can also be as well, you manifesting some kind of situation, partnership, there could also be some kind of gathering or celebration. And you have all the tools, all the elements to manifest whatever the freak you want. As above, so below, and so it shall be. This is also a card of mastery. So you have mastery here, Capricorn. And you are the master of your own life here. So be wise about what you want to manifest. And call it in. And the tower. Wow, Major Arcana 4, Scorpio. This could be some kind of shocking manifestation coming in and catching you off guard or by surprise. That can also be playing the offense defense. Some kind of shocking news. Or there could be something about an unexpected manifestation, partnership relationship or there's some kind of news coming in this could also be you uprooting a situation and dismantling having some kind of huge realization revelation aha moment like some kind of clarity is coming through let's see what this four of wands is this could be like reuniting a homecoming a wedding a celebration or I, like, you didn't see this coming. And you might get your defensive or guarded up right away. Like, oh, uh, oh, what do you mean you like me? What do you mean um, I'm getting the promotion? And so you could get, get a little bit, you know, defensive about it. Or there's something that you have been quite stubborn with. So what you resist persists and the universe is coming in and like creating this tower to create movement in your life. So let's do this four of wands. Is this could have something to do with family. This could be you relocating and moving unexpectedly. Oh, 
or something in your external environment. So this could be you just observing and watching but not getting involved. So somebody be, could be trying to get you involved in a situation and you just have to say, no, I'm standing my ground. And the devil, Major Arcana 4, Capricorn. And the devil energy can be a blockage or a barrier. Because see how this big, huge block here, this big, huge rock is in the way of a path. So you could be freeing yourself from some kind of foundation or stability. It can actually be like selling a home. Or something was built on a faulty foundation. Like a quagmire. I feel like this is some kind of like boulder being removed out of your life. Death card, change, transition, a transformation. Wow, the, you have the tower, you have the devil, you have the death card. This could be your own blockages. Or there is something to do with like... Um, this is low vibrational energy. Something in a four of wands. So this could be like a friend, a family member, or freeing yourself up from something that has been quite toxic for you, a toxic living situation, a toxic environment, a toxic family member. Because in your blocked and challenged position is the Six of Pentacles, which is uh, reciprocity, equal give and take, sharing and caring. But I feel like somebody could be like selfish or greedy. I can also be jealousy and envy of what is coming in for you here, Capricorn. Four of Wands is Leo energy of Leo energy here. I just feel like this is like some kind of shocking information. It's going to catch you off guard or by surprise. And you might be a little bit guarded or defensive about this change. But that can also be like a bondage, an attachment, finding out information about like a family member or someone else's relationship as well. And this could be like a toxicity, so a toxic environment, a toxic living situation. Or somebody has like bad habits and you might have to like go somewhere and this person's there. Just keep your cool. Or some kind of relationship has been like blocking your path. Wow, in the Eight of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. Place healthy boundaries with work or what you were, are working on. This is like no roadblock, no speed bump, no hiccup, no hurdle is going to get in the way of what I want to achieve. So there could be a little bit of speed bumps or roadblocks that people are trying to create. But this is again about mastery of craft, paying attention to the detail and putting in the quality of work. This could also be like some kind of unexpected work situation that comes up for you that offers stability. And here, just watch this. Is this someone's mask? It's like someone's mask is falling off. Wow. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is like a windfall coming in. It's something tangible, something you can taste, touch, and feel and get your hands on it. New house, new job, new career path, new commitment. This is like um, a windfall. So if somebody might owe you money or if you have been going for some kind of loan here, like getting a loan and you haven't been very successful in that, I feel like you, get, you st are going to be shocked. And with the Eight of Pentacles, it feels like there is some kind of strife or conflict here. Or there's somebody stubborn at work. Or this is a need for you to reprioritize here Capricorn. And to work what you're working on. So this could be just working on, your, on yourself. And, you know, you could be dealing with somebody who's very greedy or there is an energy of, like, um, jealousy. Or somebody has been blocking freedom. There's, like, a block for freedom here. 
let's see what the six of pentacles is because what you're saying is in the blocked and challenged position if you're giving to a situation and not getting anything in returns so and don't give to this situation anymore and this person is going to get their nundies in a knot it's because they're going to come to you and be like well capricorn you've always done it in the past why aren't you doing it now and it's like because it's not my priority or not my job to carry this and the eight of wands aries leo sagittarius energy and the eight of wands is a high vibrational energy when it's up here but in the blocked and challenged position this is either needing to um, delegate or um, offload some kind of attachment um, this could be an attachment in a home or a commitment but there's needing to clean out the clutter like um, you might have accumulated so much stuff that it's actually um, to the ceiling or they're like hoarding I'm not saying you're a hoarder here Capricorn because I've met a lot of Capricorns and they're very neat and tidy but somebody around you this is like a, a one-sided situation or there's a, a blockage in um, a commitment somebody's trying to block you from something but it's coming in it doesn't matter the manifestation six of Pentacles and the seven of swords Wow liar liar pants on fire so this is somebody who's trying to cut corners to win in an unfair advantage because this is the six of pentacles which is equal give and take sharing and caring but right here the seven of swords is like sneaky deal this is my wolf in sheep's clothing somebody who cuts corners to win in an unfair advantage and i feel like they're like either going to get caught or here avoid giving to this energy because it's draining it and eight of wands down here is like a fast moving energy or a high vibrational energy it speaks of excitement joy pleasure you know multitasking going here going there and going everywhere um i feel like somebody's lazy in some kind of equal give and take here or somebody is trying to block communication here block you from going forward with plans let's see what the strength card is this is about internal strength, perseverance, power, and control. This is also you to let your uniqueness shine. And it says love and trust. As you can see, it's almost like taking this, somebody has you on a tight leash or a tight schedule. See how this person um, is trust. See how the, the dog collar has come off and the leash has come off. So free to roam free to roam this is also you have some kind of healing powers or healing touch here capricorn yeah you know what you can put out fires in your external environment but really is it your place to, that you need to handle it so you know boundaries but i feel like this has something to do with like work or what you were working on and the queen of pentacles oh i like that energy this is like a strong work ethic, but this could also be like a strong friend, a strong business tie. There's loyalty and to have trust, but Queen of Pentacles is a very generous, giving, hardworking. And as you can see, see how they're climbing like rock climbing. So climbing the side of the mountain, scaling the mountain here, Capricorn, you are temperance. Don't rush yourself or do anything excessively. It's also the card of alchemy, again, simplifying and neutralizing anything and to compromise. Healing. Healing yourself here, but this is also healing financially, abundance, prosperity, and the boundaries. Creating strong bonds and boundaries and be loyal to what it is that you're doing here. There could also be um, an earth sign around you or there's like what goes around comes back around to you and you might be even shocked about it. And it might be some kind of work situation, but I feel like there could be something in your external environment 
that you're watching this as well like well, this could be a friend coming to you and like telling you some kind of shocking news like you'll never believe this or um the magician can also be like uh energy of like game playing or trickery but i don't feel that i feel like some kind of like energy because you have the symbol of what goes around comes back around to you but in shocking ways or through unexpected channels and I would just watch the get rich quick schemes or the one-sided situations like if somebody says oh yeah I'm going to be there and they don't show up then take note of that but it's like don't keep score but you know if someone does it like a repeat offender all the time but here, this is like a healthy, strong you or strong partnership here. The chess queen trust and strategizing. It's like being strategic here. There could also be somebody codependent on you here. Or your family relies on you too much. Again, you have to place healthy boundaries. Guy is gardened. Fruition, abundance, reaping what you have sown. So that's such a beautiful energy. And here, what goes around comes back around to you. The queen of the light, elimination, enlightenment, and celebration. And here, um, the queen of the light. This is truth, elimination, and there's a number 15. You have 15 here and 15. But 15 in the tarot, in traditional tarot, in the major arcana, is the double energy celebration enlightenment and illumination things coming to light or like lightning strikes the lady of the lightning oh my goodness how cool is that surprises sometimes shock total paradigm shift wow this is about a total paradigm shift in you a total change in direction, a total new you, but a, a, like a super powerful, stronger you, and celebration. You could also be celebrated here, Capricorn, because the Four of Wands is like celebration, being in good company, getting some kind of like shocking good news. See how this is like, um, like medicine? Medicine medicine could be working in science or something or like finding a solution and conclusion to a problem here to love great passion pin new job career wow and you might be a little bit defensive and wanting to turn this down but seven of pentacles or sorry seven of wands is what you resist persists so let your guard down a little bit because this is going to come in unexpectedly at work like a possibly a new job or career path it can offer some kind of working from home and you could also work um at the job like work remotely which offers a ton of flexibility tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead acts forces working against you that's the seven of wands that's about you still advocating for yourself so standing up to a cause or standing up um, to people at your work or what you're working on like believing in yourself bird perched waiting for news package or a letter it's coming in and I feel like it might even shock the flip out of you here Capricorn 
Pineapple reconciliation. Wow. This person could be a distance. And then you have 888. What goes around comes back around to you. And you might even be shocked of what kind of situation comes back to you. And no, it's not somebody who left you, um, you know, totally banged up and whatever. This is, you know, just situations that maybe you applied for a job situation and nobody got back to you. And here it is. It's like communication. Desk, pay attention to your work. Yeah. Um, if you're going out and celebrating, um, careful about the overindulgence because it could affect your performance at work. Room, new home, new attitude. Wow. So good news is on it. But I also feel like it's new you, new attitude. New job, new attitude. Tanker, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. And that says celebration times two. Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So you have this seven of wands here, which could be dealing with a defiant and very stubborn person. Um, this person has their guard up and maybe you work with this person or, you know, it just is an energy of like them resisting the change. And if it's you that's resisting a change, you know, embrace it embrace the change and if someone's being stubborn and unwilling to change that's who they are you can't change them but what you can change is your focus of like where you're going in your own life butterfly a change for the better wind chimes peace and harmony and apple temptation will test you cup you should accept valid criticism yeah so again you might be a little bit resistant or stubborn of what your one of your colleagues and i'm not saying that this is not a colleague that is not loyal to you this person possibly likes to work with you and um you know they could be saying hey capricorn like you know i heard about this job position or there's something about like um changing here in the job position or like donating everything it's almost like you're um needing to unload some kind of situation taking a job elsewhere taking getting a new home and yeah, don't, yeah, whatever. Whoever is being a donkey, let them be a donkey, <laughs> okay? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates for you. Like, share, subscribe, and Capricorn, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can do in the description box below. Click on the link and it will go to the website and you can see the options there. And uh, reconciliation, just know we're in a Mercury retrograde in the month of August. You have free will to say yes or no, <laughs> right? Okay, take care. Bye-bye.